Recently I had a lot of fun installing OpenWRT on this uh, tiny Zsun uh, Wi-Fi card reader. Uh, the objective being, once I had OpenWRT running, I can install a package that enables me to control my DSLR camera um, using it. The challenge being, once you've got OpenWRT, you can only connect to it um, via Wi-Fi uh, as a client. So if you set it up as an access point to connect to the internet, then you can no longer access it uh, as, as a client and, uh, and you're stuffed. Uh, now there is the possibility of putting an ethernet jack onto it if you're soldering up to it, uh, but it's certainly not for the faint hearted. What I ended up having to do was to download the packages that I needed from the internet and then connect to my OpenWRT client and install the packages, which was a bit cumbersome. Then I came across this neat trick, which is setting up the OpenWRT Wi-Fi uh, in, a, in a bridged mode. It simultaneously is able to connect to an access point in your network and, and therefore connect to the internet. Simultaneously, you can connect to it via OpenWRT. Once you have that running, you've got internet access and, uh, and local access, as it were. Here are the instructions for performing that task. I'll put a link in the description to, uh, to this. To get bridge mode working, all you have to do is to edit some files on the um, Zsun. We configure the firewall, the wireless connection in here. What you need to do is obviously connect uh, two Wi-Fi interfaces. We have one here which is a station which is connected to uh, your access point and you put in your, your password here and simultaneously it provides um, a client function um, by the network OpenWRT as, as per, per normal. Finally in the network part, the network file you have to set it up to get its IP address via DHCP from your access point and you're good to go. It's um, incredibly simple once you know the trick as, uh, as many things. The way I copied the packages from my Windows machine onto the device originally was using this Win SCP program. Now this was a really neat tool and I've got another video describing how this works. These were the files that I needed the packages to install on the OpenWRT device to get it to connect to my camera. Uh, but also, the same program is able to edit the files necessary in the first place to get the, uh, the bridge mode working. So, for example, here we can see the configuration file for the wireless connection on the Zsun and simply all we needed to do was to double click it and we can edit it directly using this um, simple um, editor uh, which is um, you know, WYSIWYG what you see is what you get and, uh, and, and very simple so that was how I managed to uh, get it running in the bridged mode 